Hey guys, today we're doing a lesson on the multiplication and division laws of exponents. So before we begin, let's start with some basic vocabulary, base and exponent. When I have an expression, a power like three to the fifth power, the three in this expression is my base. It's the number or variable that's being raised to the exponent. And the five, of course, is my exponent. And the five is telling me how many times I'm gonna multiply the three by itself. So the expression three to the fifth power is the same as three times three times three times three times three. So I've written out five threes and I'm multiplying them all. So that's some basic vocabulary you need to know before we get started. So now, when you're multiplying expressions that have the same base, for example, three to the third power multiplied by three to the second power, the rule states that if they have the same base, we're allowed to keep that base, so I'm gonna keep my base at three, and add our exponents three and two to get five. Okay, so by the multiplication law of exponents, if you've got multiplication and you've got the same bases, you can keep that base and add your exponents. Now, let's talk about why this happens. That way, if you forget this rule, you can always just kind of prove it to yourself. It's more important to know why than it is to know the rule itself. So three to the third, just by the definition that we just talked about, means three times three times three. And that expression is getting multiplied by three squared, which means three times three. So now if we just count how many threes we have, one, two, three, four, five, we see that we're multiplying and there's five threes, you know that this can more simply be written as three to the fifth power, okay? So if you forget the rule, if you don't know whether you're supposed to add or multiply, or you just have no idea what to do, write them out, write the expressions out in expanded form, and it'll remind you that there will be the sum of the exponents there, okay? So now the multiplication law is useful because if you had an expression like four to the 20th multiplied by four to the 13th, we don't wanna draw out 24s and 13 fours, right? So we can just follow our law. So remember our law told us, and I'll write it over here in variables for us, the multiplication law of exponents says that a to the n power multiplied by a to the m power is going to equal a to the n plus m power. So let's apply that law. Our base stays the same, so our base is four, it's gonna stay the same, and our exponents, 20 and 13, will be added to get us 33. So four to the 33rd is the simplified version of four to the 20th multiplied by four to the 13th, okay? Let's do the division law of exponents. So the division law um, also only works if you've got the same base for now. So let's say we begin with 15 to the fourth divided by 15 to the second. We have division, we have the same base, so our law says that we can keep that base and subtract the exponents four minus two to get two. And let's take a look at why this is. If I expand 15 to the fourth, that's the same as 15 times 15 times 15 times 15, right? And in the denominator, I have 15 squared, which is the same as 15 times 15. So now, if I start to, I notice that I can cancel some things out, right? Because 15 divided by 15 is just one, and 15 divided by 15 is one. So I'm doing one times one times 15 times 15. So this whole numerator can be simplified to just 15 squared and then there was nothing but a one in the denominator. So I got 15 squared, which is the same answer I got when I did it with the shortcut with the division law of exponents. Again, much more convenient to subtract once the exponents get larger. Let's do one more example with the division law. If I had three to the eighth power divided by three to the eleventh power, following the law, it says keep the base, so remember my base is three, and subtract the exponents, eight, minus 11. So now if I'm good with my integers, I know that eight minus 11 is the same as eight plus negative 11, and that's equivalent to three to the negative third power. So three to the negative third is my answer here. However, it's not simplified completely because normally we wanna have expressions that only have positive exponents. So if you don't know how to do that yet, if you don't know how to apply the negative law of exponents, that's gonna be in another video, so just watch the other video. Um, so three to the negative third is correct, it's just not completely simplified yet. Um, let's do one example where we've got some coefficients. So a coefficient is a number that's before the variable being multiplied by the variable. So for example, in 5a squared, five is considered my coefficient being multiplied by a squared. So 5a squared times 6a to the negative seventh power. 
Okay, I have multiplication. I have the same bases, right? A and A, they're the same. Um, the five and the six are my coefficients. Those are gonna get multiplied. So five times six is 30. I keep my base again, and I add my exponents, two plus negative seven to get negative five. So again, once you learn the negative law of exponents, you'll see that you can simplify this even more. Otherwise, for now, this is the correct answer, okay? Um, now, if you had an example where the bases were not the same, so for example, two to the eighth power times four to the seventh power, you can't just add the exponents because think about it, my rule says keep the base, but if I have two different bases, which one do I keep, right? So there is a way to do this, um, but I'll save that for another video. So if you've got a problem like this, you're gonna look for the video that shows you how to multiply expressions with different bases. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.